continue with the theme for our young entrepreneurs making a difference. Um, the next young entrepreneur I would like to introduce happens to be um, someone that I've just known about pretty recently, only to find out that he went to the best high school in Nigeria. Everywhere I touch seems to be the best place, you know. The best high school in Nigeria has produced probably the best um, individuals that when you hear about them, you just know. You just know, yeah, he's a Gregorian, right? <laughs> Up, Gregs! <laughs> and, um, you know, this young man that I'm going to introduce right now is also an alumnus of St. Gregory's College, Lagos. And he is a motivational speaker. He's spoken on the subject of technology around the world. Very well known well-vested, and full of knowledge. Join me, ladies and gentlemen, in welcoming to the podium, Mr. Ade Olufeko. Ade, come on Up, Gregs. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. I want to thank uh, Mr. Kenneth Chobala, Emilia, uh, The Easy Way, the Foros, and uh, the whole community uh, who put this together. Um, I'll jump right into this. I believe we have a tremendous potential here in the diaspora, as well as back home. And um, we have a lot of uh, young minds like myself, if not younger, ready to go into politics and in different areas. We just need a chance. I'll ask a question right now. How many of you guys have this book? The Nigerian Constitution. Does anybody have this? Yes, yes. It's on Google. Now, but do we utilize it? Everybody wants to go into Nigeria and do business. But there's a process in place. People go into Nigeria with money. People go in with influence. But they don't um, understand that there's a community. And that there are pain points. People have to understand the pain points on communities and societies before they can affect change. Uh, there are people who've done the work, lost money, gone in and uh, are affecting, affecting uh, uh, the changes, like uh, the speaker who just spoke with the solo phone. I believe he's doing a tremendous job. I think we should give him a round of applause. <laughs> Nigeria is a very respectful nation. We're, we are like uh, Singapore, we're like Japan, and those people started, maybe their, their uh, cultures are a little bit older than ours, but they started a long time ago. And I believe we can get there. Nigeria no de carry last though. We do not. We're in uh, all the Ivy League schools over here. We do not come from a shithole country. We do have shithole behaviors and some people in the upper echelon, but that's gonna change. I'm, I'm here, I support people like Fela Durotoye, who's, who's um, by the way, I'm nonpartisan, I'm a political. I'm called to speak on different uh, parts of the aisle in Nigeria, all over the world. So I support when I hear a good message. Um, I'm also acknowledging uh, my big brother, uh, Senator Ben Bruce of Greg's. Um, the world is going to hit nine, nine billion people in the year 2020. And Nigeria is also gonna grow as well. What are we doing? Are we adjusting the constitution to make room for a lot of uh, the changes that are yet to come? a lot of the innovations that are yet to come. We have um, Fulani Herdsman. That was passed in 1963, the Grayson Passage, for three states. But we did not adjust this constitution after we broke the states apart. So they feel they're entitled to go grazing and to kill. And nobody is saying anything about it. Nobody. Well, except Senator over here. Please give him a round of applause. Yeah. We can't jump in Nigeria without acknowledging some of these things. We need to hold our leaders accountable. Not me, not anybody, but people are coming. People are coming to hold people accountable. We want change. We need change. Not just word of mouth. We need action. And I'm happy that this platform, uh, NABF, is creating an, incubating, uh, uh, an incubator, a platform for investments and different um, frameworks to put money back into Nigeria. 
So uh, I just have a few more words to say. Let's celebrate our unsung heroes, people who aren't being recognized. Let's celebrate them. If it's the people in the airports, people are trying to make ends meet, let's, let's celebrate them. They need to be celebrated. Not the people with the flashiest clothes or the biggest cars, people who are turning the little cogs of wheels to make change happen. Politicians too are human beings, so let's take it easy on them. Let's also celebrate women. I believe women are the matriarchs of society. Let's celebrate women because they help build communities. They build strong leaders like people like Thomas Sankara, um, Jerry Rawlins, and some of those people who've made change. Let's celebrate our women. Let's celebrate our young girls. Let's celebrate our youth. And let's, uh, let's, um, let's uh, put our money where our mouth is, pretty much. Um, but I want to thank uh, uh, Mr. Kenneth Shobala, Emilia, Chinyere, uh, the Mforos, and uh, the whole community again. Thank you very much. <laughs>